In this tutorial, we will discuss the structure and elements of a hero section that is beautifully designed and responsive. Let us start by describing the section tag with the class hero section and the identifier section 00. This section serves as the main container for the hero content. It represents the introductory part of the web page, often used to grab the user's attention with engaging visuals and key information. Inside the section, there is a div tag with the class hero image wrapper. This div acts as a container for the images that are part of the hero design. Inside this wrapper, there are three image tags, each representing different visual elements. The first image tag has the source set to the file sky.png and the class name sky. This image might be used as the background, creating the ambiance of a sky in the hero section. The second image tag has the source set to mountains.png and the class name mountains. This image is likely used to add depth and a natural landscape feel. The third image tag has the source set to manstanding.png and the class name manstanding. This image adds a focal point, creating a connection with the user. Next, we have another div tag with the class hero content. This div contains the main textual and interactive elements of the hero section. Inside the hero content div, there is a heading tag with the class hero subtitle. This heading has the text a hiking guide, which acts as a subheading to introduce the theme of the web page. Following this is a main heading tag with the class hero title. This heading is divided into two lines, where the first line contains the text be prepared for the, and the second line contains the text mountains and beyond. This serves as the key message or tagline for the hero section. Finally, there is an anchor tag with the class hero action. This anchor acts as a call to action button, guiding users to scroll down to the next section of the web page. The text inside the anchor is scroll down. Additionally, there is an inline scalable vector graphic included within the anchor. This graphic contains a path element that creates a downwards pointing arrow, adding a visual cue to the scrolling action. In summary, this hero section is designed with a combination of stunning visuals, meaningful headings, and an intuitive call to action button. It captures the essence of the web page and provides a seamless introduction for the users. I hope this explanation helps you understand the structure and functionality of the hero section. We're diving into the styling of a beautifully designed hero section. First, we start with the main container, which is the hero section. This section is styled to take up the full height of the viewport and uses relative positioning. We've added two pseudo elements here. The before pseudo element applies a gradient overlay, blending the hero section into the background. The after pseudo element creates a smooth gradient at the bottom, enhancing the overall visual flow. Moving on to the hero image wrapper, this div acts as a container for all the images in the hero section. Each image has specific positioning to layer them beautifully. The image with the class sky is stretched to cover the full height of the viewport with a slight vertical translation. The mountains image is positioned higher to give a unique perspective. Finally, the image of the man standing is placed in the foreground with a fixed height and the highest Z index. Next, let's talk about the hero content section. This section is absolutely positioned near the top center of the hero section. It houses all the text content. The hero subtitle is styled with a bold yellow color, uppercase letters, and extra spacing between characters. To make it more visually appealing, we've added a horizontal yellow bar using the before pseudo element. The hero title is large, bold, and white to grab attention. Each word is treated as a block to give better control over spacing and alignment. Lastly, the hero action contains an interactive button styled with bold white text and an animated arrow icon that moves in a smooth, bouncing motion. This is achieved with a custom keyframe animation named scroll down arrow. Finally, we've included responsive design using media queries. For smaller screens, the layout adjusts to ensure all elements look good. As the screen size increases, we increase the font sizes, reposition the images, and adjust paddings to provide a seamless user experience on all devices. And that's it. This is how you can create a visually appealing, fully responsive hero section with layered images, gradients, and animations. If you found this helpful, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more web design tutorials. See you in the next one.